Hey guys, welcome back to another of Inzane's Haven and Hearth tutorials with yours truly Inzania. And what we are going to discuss in this episode is food. Food, food, food. Alright, so we've went out and we caught this raw chicken meat and all this other stuff and we need to cook it. So I'm going to go inside my little house here because I've got a little hearth fire thingy made in here that uh, basically if you make a hearth fire in your house and then you make another one somewhere else in your house, the first one becomes one of these firing things and it stays there forever. Isn't that wonderful? You never have to rebuild another another fire. So you right click on it like I've showed you in the, in the last episode, or the, one of the other episodes, and then you want to go to craft, you want to go to cooking, and then you want to go to raw meat, and then you want to craft. Oh, you need a fire to roast meat, so you walk away from your fire, then you right click on it again, and you hit craft, and you'll start cooking. So we're going to cook one meat because that's all that I'm going to play with because I'm almost full. And I'm not going to eat it anyway because it's just, this is junk junk food to me right now. To you, this is very good food. Um, but if you notice, it says Dex 1.0. If you go into here and then you click on this one and you look here, you'll see that I've got one point of 20 points dexterity. 1.0 of Dex. 1.0 of 20.0. I need to get this bar all the way full, which means I need to get to 20. Because I'm not eating a food based on my highest stat, the, the number lowers. So the, basically the way that this window works, this, this bar works, is that whatever food you eat adds points to this. The amount of points that it adds, it tells you here on the food. Like if I eat this, this it's going to be, one, it says 1.8 agility. Now I hit eat. Now if I look over here, I've got 1.7 agility and 1.0 dex. So I got just under what it said it was going to give me, but pretty close. It's, it's, it rounds down the way this game, even though it says 1.8, it was probably like 1.79 or something like that. And it rounded down. Now if I was to eat this, it would take my dex up another point, and I would then have in there it would say 1.7 agility plus 2.0 dex. Now at my, my stage, because I'm in the 20s, not the, the 10s like you, uh, starting out at 10 that's a couple food and you'll you'd be way up here in the bar because you'll only need 10 points and I've already got what 2.7 so I'd be like right in here almost halfway a third of the way now as you progress later in the game you start coming across things like boar, bear meat bear meat uh, which is you know a little bit later in the game good bit and then there's fish so I've got sturgeon um, I've got boar meat bear meat, I've got some rabbit meat, which is, these all say HHPs, your, your hard hit points. They increase HHPs, or hurt HHPs, actually, because they're raw. When you cook them, they'll change to a stat food, something that gives you a boost based on the stat that you, you want. Now, if I come over here somewhere, out here, I've got some roasted boar, bear meat, I think. Uh, let me look. Maybe I don't. All right, let's go cook one then real quick. And you'll see the difference between what you start with and what you earn as you progressively advance up. Watch it cook that one. <laughs> I have not discussed quality of items yet because starting out in this game, it does not matter. You don't care what the quality of something is. You just want it. As you progress through the game, quality becomes quite important. Quality is the number that you see on every item that you pick up in the game. These bones are quality 10. This is 23. This is 10, 10, 10, 29, 28. The bear meat, as you see, is 55. Notice how the strength is going to go up 8.2. If I was to eat that right now, it would add 8.2. In fact, I will here. Well, no, I'm full. I'm almost too full. That's going to add, uh, I think, 55. It's going to add a bunch of, of food. I don't know how to do the food, how to guess how much something is going to fill you up, but there is a, a method to the madness on how. I, I could find out how that how much food points that's going to give me. I just, I'm not concerned with it at this point in this, in this little guide. But eating that would add 8.2 to over here. I would then have 8.2 strength, 1.7 agility, 1.0 dex. Now, what does that mean? All right, when the bar fills all the way up and hits 100% or more, 
it then looks at all of those points that you've put in for that and that basically reverts to the percentile chance of that amount of points that you have towards getting that stat increased. So if you only eat strength food until it goes all the way up, it's 100% chance your strength is going to go up one point. Same thing with any of these other, other attributes. If you only eat that kind of food, that attribute will increase. Most foods that you find, though, are not going to be that simple. Most food that you find is going to have several stats. In other words, it's going to increase your strength or your intelligence, and it's going to give you three points towards intelligence, five points towards strength. What that means is that it's adding a 30% modifier to the intelligence going up, and it's adding a 50% chance of strength based on just that food. If you were to just eat multiples of that food, you would have a 30% chance to go up in intelligence, 50% chance to go up in the other item. Um, but you just want to check this bar down here. I've got 1.7 towards agility, 1.0 towards dex, and this is out of 17. So whatever the math works up to be, that of 17, which right now agility is at a 10%, dexterity is just, it's at about 6% or so, 5% or something like that, you know, of, of doing that, that giving me them stats. So whenever it hits 100%, whichever stats, you know, and it just rolls randomly. You, you never know. You've got 30% chance it's going to go one way or, you know, based on the stats, I'm just saying numbers. But you'd have like 30% one, 50% another, and then 20% another stat. And then just it, it all rolls, and that's the percentile chance. Now, you could get the 20% option every time. You just get unlucky. But you would have a 50% chance of getting the, the one that's at 50% worth of the value. Um, and that's food, and that's what food does. Now, you want to go through the wiki and look through foods because there's, I mean, there's, I'm not going over all the foods. There's like 40, 40 or so, maybe 50 different types of foods, everything that you can eat. I mean, these are all boar meat, bear meat, rabbit meat, chicken, sturgeon, quail, or bri brill, uh, five different types of fish, uh, whale, aphids. I mean, there's just all different kinds, blueberries, apples, you know, uh, pomegranates or whatever, uh, these things, chandelberries, which I could eat right now, and they'll give me 4.1 towards my charisma. Blueberries will give you 1.4 towards your intelligence. <coughs> so if you want to raise a singular stat, there are some foods out there that you can eat in multiplies uh, or multiples that will help you increase just that stat, but it's, you've got to go forge them, and it takes long, it can take you a long time to forge them all. Now, there are better cooked products that you can cook and eat, and you'll do that with your uh, once you get the, the ability under cooking and you fi discover clay, and then you build a kiln, and then once you build a kiln, you can then put some clay in there and some sticks in there, and you can fire it up. Uh, by right-clicking on it after you've put sticks in it, you would then hit light, and this bar would be red. It, you would have some red in it, determined by how much, how many sticks you put in it. Um, always put sticks in it, by the way. Don't put wooden blocks that you, you will discover what they are as you play. When you cut down a tree, you get logs. When you cut a log, you have two choices. If you've made a bone saw, which is, requires one rabbit bone or any kind of bone, chicken bone, rabbit bone, anything, and... Uh, uh, something else I can't remember let's see let's go into tools uh, it's not in tools what is it into crafting maybe and then tools tools bone saw right there bone saw requires a bone and a stick easy breezy go pick up a chicken go pick up a rabbit make a bone saw there's two things you want to make out of bone as quickly as possible one's a fishing bone fishing hook once you've learned fishing and then the second is once you've learned lumberjacking a bone saw Bone saws let you turn trees into boards. You will need a lot of boards. You use boards to make all of your boxes, especially these crates. Um, you will start out making wicker baskets. That'll be the first one of the first things you learn. I think you learn that with foraging. Um, you will make a bunch of wicker baskets, but they're only you know really small boxes. So then you'll you'll go up. You'll advance from the wicker boxes into making these, which are three by five, and then you'll go from them into making these, which are three by five uh, vertically, and then you'll go from them into making coffers, which are five by five, and then you'll go from coffers. By that time, you'll probably have a basic house built, and uh, you'll be using the, the baskets that you saw me using inside here, which are these cupboards, and the cupboards are just freaking huge. What, two, four, six, eight by eight, 64 slots? 
And you can put one on any slot inside. Now I've got them just on this wall, but you can put them all over. Uh, you just have to be able to walk around them. It's all is the problem. So you gotta you gotta be smart about where you build them. But yes, that's food, and that's what I wanted to cover. So remember, everything that you're doing, everything that you're you're eating, everything that you gather, can in one way or another be processed upward, uh, as to where like blueberries. I saw I showed you the blueberries. They were like one point something towards my uh, towards my end. Well, I can take the blueberries after I've grown this wheat, which is growing. You can see the wheat down here. Um, let me zoom out. There, you can see my wheat crop. I've got it in a funny little L, but that's just because I'm building 4x4 four four grids of, of vegetables around it and then 3x3s three three around these on this bottom. And then I just run a big wheat field through the middle of it because you use wheat to make uh, dough. So you take two wheat seeds once you get your, you know, and you get all this from the drying table or the drying rack and the wild wind sowed seeds, but you got to get to 11 exploration in order to be able to see them on the map. So remember that. But once you get wheat seeds, you start growing wheat seeds. And then after you've grown some wheat seeds, you can take those wheat seeds and then a bucket of water and a blueberry and you can, or you take the wheat seeds, you'll build a quill or whatever it is, quill. Uh, which is basically a meal. It grinds the seeds into flour. So you'll you'll take the seeds, and it takes two seeds to make one flour on the kiln, or quiln, Q-U-I-L-N, or whatever it is. This thingy, little meat, little seed grinder. There we go, the seed grinder. Uh, and then after you do that, it then turns it into flour. Then you take that flour. You'll have made a bucket by now, which is just a board. Uh, you take a board and make it into a bucket. And then you take the bucket. You go to your river source. As you can see, we've got a big river up here, or if you've built a well, which I doubt. But uh, you could then use that bucket on the river. Get You basically pick the bucket up, which as you see here, I've got a bucket. You pick the bucket up with the left mouse click and then you right click it on the water source so you go stand you right click it on the water and you'll walk to the water and you'll fill the bucket up then you put it back in your inventory if you've got that bucket in your inventory a dough and one blueberry you can make a blueberry pie and you can do that through cooking you'll go to craft you have to learn baking for this but craft cooking baking pies and there it is blueberry pie it tells you it needs 5.5 .5 of water it needs one flower, and it needs one blueberry. So uh, it's going to use like 0.1 liters of water to make, so it's nothing. You, your, your bucket holds 10 liters. Uh, I've, used 10, 10, I've used one liter, and I've made about eight or so, five or six of these pies, five or so of these pies. So it's maybe 0.2. But you would then hit craft, doesn't matter where you're standing, and it would craft a blueberry pie dough. You would then take this blueberry pie dough, and you would put it into your oven, Oop, you got a four slot oven right there. After you do that, you would then apply the right amount of sticks. Then you would check the wiki for the stick count. How many sticks you need to bake something for blueberry pie happens to be three. So I would take and put three sticks into this oven by left clicking on them in my inventory, which there's this branch. And then if you right click on the oven, as you'll see, it's put one stick worth of fuel in there. It requires three sticks worth of fuel to make the pie. Then you would hit light and you can walk away from it. You come back later, it'll smoke. When it goes out, when the smoke stops, your pies are done. You go get your pies. Okay, taking and making a pie converts that, that blueberry from being a one point whatever int to being like a three points an int and a possible five or six points for persuade or for uh, uh, perception. So it boosts it a lot, you know, so the, it's, it's worth it. This is my point. It's worth it to upgrade your food system. Uh, don't just keep foraging for apples because apples give you nothing. Uh, don't just keep foraging blueberries. Work your way up through baking and cooking and farming and everything else to eventually get to this. And that's what we'll discuss in the next episode is farming. How to farm, uh, why to farm, what, what you get from it, how it works. Uh, and we'll also go in while we're doing that and we'll discuss the personal belief section because this button or this tab right here highly, highly, highly changes how your farming works. But it also goes negative towards binding, so you have to determine what you want to do with that character. All right, so hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode where we will discuss farming.